and uh, Sadwick in particular for the campaigns against apartheid for the departure of two of our great heroes Nelson Mandela and our colleague here uh, Veronica Planton. Veronica was probably much less well known uh, than Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela worldwide was considered a terrorist when he was as long in the campaign as our friend Veronica, Veronica Planton. She will be born, um, Nelson Mandela, 21 years old when she was born. And she was born into a world where she had known apartheid from South Africa right up to the day she died in um, this week. That was 74 years before she died and 74 years of apartheid. And people know about, well about apartheid in South Africa and the sacrifice made by people like Nelson Mandela. The few people and more people are waking up to the fact of apartheid in Israel. And the people with experience of apartheid in South Africa, like Bishop Tutu and Peter Mandela, will tell us that apartheid in Israel is far, far worse and far more severe, affecting far more people to a far greater degree than ever happened in South Africa. Just yesterday I witnessed the arrest of a four-year-old person has been pulled into a van by the police, by the IDF, by those brave policemen. The day before there was a five-year-old child being pictured on the street and two policemen or two IDF brave soldiers with a gun pointed into the face of a five-year-old lying on the ground and he's held by both hands and the gun pointed in his face. Never happened in South Africa. That is why we've got to wake up I wake up the British people and people across the world to let them know that what has been done in our name and the name of humanity. The barbarism that is Zionism, 
that puts apartheid South Africa to shame every single day of this week, next week and until every day until we see an end to Zionism and apartheid Zionism and the ethnic cleansing required to maintain that in, uh, in Israel. 